Today's topic is dependency diagrams and denormalization. So what is a dependency diagram? It is a diagram that is used to show the total, full, partial, transitive dependencies that exist in a table. The primary key components are highlighted in the diagram and they are kept in bold letters. The primary key components are connected to each other using a bracket. The dependencies like total and functional dependencies are shown with arrows that is drawn above the boxes. Partial and transitive dependencies are shown with arrows at the bottom of the diagram. So this is what the example table that we saw in our previous class that depicts the types of dependencies. If you take full dependency, this uh, quantity column is depend on the invoice number and item number. Partial dependency, the primary key item number is the determinant for item name and item price column. And the transitive dependency, non-key column customer name is dependent on, on the non-key column customer number. So, hope you remember in the previous topic. So, as what said in the dependency, dependency diagram, this is the primary key that is depicted in bold letter and it is highlighted. And above is the here full dependencies here and this is partial dependency and this is transitive dependency it is given below the boxes and this is given above the boxes so if you take in this figure a composite key exists as you already know that is invoice number and item number we that is exist in the first normal form and we have to convert into second normal form so to convert the first point is the requirement of second normal form is that particular table should be in one normal form this first normal form and that should not be any partial dependency but here partial dependencies is exist so we have to remove all the partial dependencies so that it will be converted into second normal form for that purpose write each primary key component on a separate line like this invoice number that is exist in the table invoice and item number that exist in the table item Write the composite key on the third line, it will be the composite key in the third table. This is the third line. So this figure shows the decomposition of one table into three tables. See, you can see three tables over here. So now the, this condition uh, depicts a diagram that exists the tables in two second normal form. What is this? The invoice number, customer number and customer name columns will move. These three columns will move to the invoice number because it depends upon the invoice number table. And item name and item price, it depends upon item number. And the quantity, this depends upon the primary key invoice number and item number. So this is what the condition that exists now after converting the first normal form into second normal form. And now we, uh, to design a database as a consistent one, we have to convert into third normal form. So to convert the third normal form, the condition exists is, uh, it should, the table should be in second normal form and there should be no transitive dependencies. So but the table still have transitive dependencies. So to remove that, we have to move columns with the transitive dependencies to a new table and keep the primary key of the new table as a foreign key in the existing table. That is primary key of one table act as a foreign key in the that table. So this is what the second normal form into third normal form decomposition takes place. You have four tables. One is invoice with invoice number as a key, customer customer number as a key, item table item number as a key, invoice item with these two composite primary keys. So new table customer has been created here with a customer number as a primary key. It is kept as the uh, foreign key for the invoice table to establish a relationship between these both two tables invoice and customer so the final database in third normal form looks like here this is what the final database looks we have four tables with the primary keys invoice number customer number item number and composite primary keys as invoice number and item number so so here this in this table third normal form you can see the database design is consistent.
the next topic is denormalization it is nothing but it is a process of increasing the redundancy in the database it is opposite process of normalization it is mostly done for improving the performance how the performance is being improved in the sense it is being designed by the database manager so that the database queries can be answered which combine data from various tables into a single table this is the process of denormalization that is you are going to add redundant data as what normalization do remove the redundant data here denormalization add the redundant data so that it can handle the join problem that occurs in multiple data